Today in the Toyverse, folks, we look at the Mezco 112 Collective PX Exclusive Universal Monster Series Frankenstein. Now, there are two versions of this Frankenstein available for sale. Obviously, we have the colored version here, but there is also the standard version, which is in black and white. Now, I had to decide which version I really wanted to go after. Ultimately, I felt like the colored version would be the best bet since I could have them interact with lots of different toys. So this is the one that I'm going to be talking about, obviously. So at first glance, the guy looks fantastic. Definitely spot on with looking like Frankenstein's monster, which is always an important thing to do when creating a toy based on something. So very satisfied with that. Now if I bring it in here, Zoom in, we could look at some of the details. Look at that head. Very awesome likeness of Boris Karloff portraying Frankenstein's monster. Um, I mean, there's just so many subtle little details. I mean, look at those eyes. They're just piercing and uh, very encapsulating, if you will. Uh, the scar is done very nicely on top of his head. The bolts on the side of his neck. Uh, you even got a bolt here on top. I don't know how well the camera is going to pick that up. But as you can see, done very nicely. I do like the choice of green, too. Definitely works. Obviously, Mezco known for their cloth goods uh, combining with plastic. So you have a very good costume here. A simple costume, but a costume that works nonetheless. Let's look at his hands here. Very nice details on the fingernails and uh, some great sculpting on the hand with the stitches and whatnot um as you can see a little closer you need to see the veins popping out through the hand uh just done very nicely and obviously we have his black boots here um done very nicely as well and peg holes on the bottom so let's go ahead and talk articulation in terms of the head frankenstein can sort of look up but he can really look more down which is okay since he's technically supposed to be a taller figure he can go side to side and he can do that exorcist 360 thing which is always appreciated in terms of the upper body the arms do go out about that much and that's as much as i'm willing to take it um they can go down they can technically go 360 but uh, with cloth goods, you don't want to stretch out the fabric and material. Uh, the arms are interesting because you do... Let's see. There is no uh, bicep cut with Frankenstein. At least none that I can tell. Uh, but he does have that double hinge elbow joint. It goes up that far. And uh, no wrist uh, articulation. But you do have a lower arm swivel here. Um, which is fine considering the fact that the arms are all stitched up does make sense for the figure not to be able to rotate his hands as much um upper body he's got that uh, mezco double uh ball peg system diaphragm joint going on does allow you side to side uh the first half allows him to look that much down and go that far back um let me zoom this out a little more and then with the double ball peg system, he can look pretty fall, far down. And the head's about to pop out. So, great articulation there. Uh, he does have a waist cut, you know, um, so that works. Can he do the splits? I can get mine out that much. Um, he can kick up a fair amount. And it does go back a little bit. Uh, he does have a dumbbell bend in the knee, which is very nice. And to keep the authenticity if you will, of the figure. There is no ankle rocker due to the boot, uh, but the boot does have a, a swivel on it, so there is no up and down action. Overall, for a Frankenstein figure, definitely, probably, if I'm not mistaken, one of the most articulated Frankenstein figures we've ever gotten. So that's very nice. So let's go ahead and talk about the accessories and go from there. So in terms of accessories, Frankenstein is a little light compared to your normal Mezco release, which I'm okay with considering the fact that, uh, I, what are you going to really give the guy? I mean, torches, the lab station, I mean, 
you know, there's not a lot to get, but you do have some options. We have the two sets of hand or arms, I should say. Uh, the relaxed hands come on the figure, and then you have the more dynamic, uh, imposing hands. And uh, let me bring Frankenstein back in here. Oh, you can see how that works. So right now, Frankenstein is unplugged, but all you would do is you would grab the hand, and uh, just like that, plug it in, and there you go. Voila! So, and they're just as detailed as the other ones, which is very nice. Other accessories include uh, Frankenstein's chain, and these just clasp on. I'll do it here with an open pair of hands. These just clasp on over the hands, and uh, voila. So very nice. Uh, little details like that and little accessories are always awesome. And then we get an alternate head which shows a more menacing, if you will, Frankenstein. Or maybe I need to take a poop look. Or maybe this is the face best appropriate for throwing little girls into the lake. Um, but very nicely detailed, no complaints. Like I said, uh, done very nicely. And then his other accessory is his base. And it's painted black and it's got this white design on it. Uh, to symbolize the electricity that brings Frankenstein alive. We have the display, uh, the, not the display base, but the dynamic flight stand, if you will. And you just, see if I can do this on camera again. Just plug that out, or try to pop it out. And there it went flying. And it sits in like that. Let me zoom out. You got yourself a nice little display stand, which can house Frankenstein doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff. And he'll stand in place with the uh, clamp right there, so no issues there. Um, and then you got the Mezco 112 bag to keep everything nice and safe. So, all in all, a great amount of, or not a great amount, but a decent amount of accessories. We're going to have fun posing Frankenstein. Excuse me, Frankenstein. Um, let's go over the size comparison and call it a day. Alright, so for the size comparison, in the middle we have Frankenstein, obviously. But we got the NECA Raphael. And, uh, on the other side of the screen we have the PX exclusive Judge Dredd. So, as you can see, he does stand taller compared to your standard Mezco figure. Um, he is obviously shorter than the, uh, Mezco, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure. Um, I don't have any other monsters. Actually, I take that back. We'll do one more comparison while I have him open here. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get him to stand, but we have the Diamond Select uh, Wolfman figure. Obviously, these two are not going to be in scale with each other just because of the size difference. But just to give you an idea what these do do scale-wise, so you have a rough estimate. So overall, do I recommend old Frankenbeaner over here? Um, I would have to say yeah. Um, I think he's cool. He uh, definitely pops. And if you're a fan of the old Universal Monsters, you're not going to want to miss out on him. Now you can pick up this bad boy at lots of places, but don't be shy to head over to Big Bad Toy Store and see what they have in terms of not only this figure, but others as well. Uh, so that's going to do it for the review, guys. As always, I appreciate the support, and thank you very much for watching. Uh, big shout-out to the DTKC Show for shouting us out every Monday. Uh, you love the backdrop here? Head over to Extreme Sets. Also, don't be afraid to step on over to UndercoverCapes.com to see what they're offering. And if you're a fan of toy photography... Head over to Instagram and use the hashtag Toy Lover Crew and throw a follow at Toy Lover Crew on Instagram. Stay tuned at the end for the slideshow. And until next time, friends, great googly moogly.